All right, we are back again with Text to a Video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, we are going to talk about this little guy here. This is the Rock Island Armory Glock 17 Slide. All right, I've seen the reviews on these for 22 TCM. I don't have a 22 T uh, TCM. I don't really know if I care to have one, especially ammo kind of deal. But as you can see, it's kind of pretty. You know, it's definitely better than a genuine old Glock slide in its fashion. But it did come, as you see here, for the low price of $260 via eBay. And, you know, this is how it came. Done. Just like this. Sight's already installed. You know, I don't know what else you would like to see. But uh, that is what you get. And that's not a bad price. This, of course, is a Polymer 80 from ADP Builders. Uh, I know some other manufacturers also offer that same kit. I don't know exactly who makes this particular one, but, you know, for a total of about $390, I have a Glock 17 uh, that actually has an improved grip angle. Uh, you know, what can I say? This is totally unfired, so we're gonna try it today. I do have some of this flat nose stuff that likes to choke on all my sub guns. I have some uh, steel case from Monarch. I have some of this stuff. This chokes in almost all my sub guns. It's a little goober flat point. Uh, I'm sorry, a flat end hollow point that likes to choke up in a bunch of the sub guns I have. Uh, I'm trying to think. I got like one sub gun that actually likes to eat this stuff. But, uh, you know, it's a Glock, right? It should eat anything. Uh, otherwise, I've got a you know, nice little variation of stuff. So, I'll be nice and start off with some regular old ball ammo. Olive drab mag for the olive drab frame. So, you know, stylish and see how it works. See here. fire let's see what that was that was a light primer strike all right I like catching the stuff on video I don't like to talk about it I like to see the results so in a tactical fashion here let's drop this straight in drop that and see what happens now nothing all right so I don't know if we uh, just have a really bad round or if the gun broke I might have broke it I've had lots of good luck with the uh, uh, what is it 1911s from Rock Island so you know I'm trying to think these this is what was that I can't remember what brand that was uh, I don't know that's that was one of my preloaded mags so let's see if she's broken or if it's just that one bad round let me small and she did it again all right She locked back. This is the one that came out of there. Yet again, that's a light primer strike number two. And I will say, you're supposed to put these together and go play with them. Make sure you didn't build a piece of crap because you might have goobered up whenever you put something together. Uh, you know, so let's keep running it and see if it's just going to keep getting better and breaking in or what. Well, feels somewhat okay. Doesn't feel perfect. Let's go with uh, some of this flat nose stuff, see if it even likes to feed. So far, there's that. There we go. My trigger is. See, it should be another light hammer strike. Yep, just a light strike again. So it could be something I did on this because you know it is a polymer 80, and uh, never know what you could have got wrong whenever you put stuff together. And let's see here. If everything looks like it's supposed to be doing its job right. Let's see. I have not greased this or anything, so there's always that. It is kind of still uh, assembly grease in there. Yeah, it's got some of that grease, so just out of being nice. Let's see what the deal is. I'll go ahead and put some actual CLP in there because that assembly grease might be goobering some things up. Very well possible. I'll give it a chance. 
you know for the price I was really hoping this thing would work well but stranger things have happened you know it's not exactly a factory system so you might run into some issues that's why you test fire it making sure it's good to go but I have another one this little guy right here this one is the Glock 19 and it does phenomenal uh, but it's all ADP builders to so this you know we're checking this thing out today for the Rock Island Armory and sadly my other Glock 17 is a Gen 4 so I don't know if this slide would even work on it but we might have to try let's see there we go. It's almost almost feels like it's like it's just soft because I mean this thing is a truly light primer strike going on right now so let's keep trying it Same thing again. All right, light strike again All right, same thing all right but I mean it's real light so I don't know if there's an issue somewhere with what I've done or if it's the slide. So, hmm, it's kind of rough. Let me go try this one right here. We got our factory Glock 17. And yeah, it's just this right here is buttery smooth right here. I mean, it's it's very glacious. And this guy, it's sticky so clearly we're dragging in here which is making me wonder if the liner's bad but let's try some clp in there which is probably not the best idea but you know yolo i don't really care see if it works good and does something or if it's just a big old pile of poopy all right let's see put that in there feels a little better still dragging but you know it might need to just be broken if that's the only thing wrong with this get it broken make it reliable I'd be happy with it but until it proves itself to me this thing's uh not exactly to get the thumbs up so hmm. so it makes me wonder if I could swap that out with some uh, Glock stuff and probably make this thing actually pretty nice because if that's it that should swap out with another liner all right, well, let's try it again, boys and girls, shall we? All right, back to this flat nose stuff that is feeding reliably in this. Okay, there's another issue. This is my freaking rear sight <laughs> just now sliding off. Uh, so, I mean, that's not a big deal if you get aftermarket sights, but, uh, that's totally not expected. Uh, there's the front sight. That's loose already. <laughs> that is pretty interesting because in my experience, I've never really had bad luck with any of their 1911s. And uh, it's kind of, that makes me wonder. All right, light strike again. All right, so I'm going to work on this thing and probably swap that liner and uh, I can definitely tighten this up I don't think I can fix this rear sight but so far you need to know if you buy one of these it's gonna be a big old pile of shit because I mean damn you literally see front sides loose back side just came off my hand light strikes uh, that liner is sticking so I will swap the liner put some sights on it and I will update you guys to say okay spend 260 and upgrade it and it's not bad but uh Man, I was having high hopes. Uh, Rock Island truly dropped the ball on that. So, uh, you know, I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> just have to get a good laugh of the day at this. I was like, surely this thing, is, how can you screw up a Glock, right? It's, I mean, it's basic. Uh, they did, uh, you know, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to do liner in this thing. will be able to eliminate the light hammer strikes and, of course, upgrade sights. I can tighten this, and I think I've got some factory Glock sights. I'll probably put one of those on the back, keep the front. Keep it simple there's no money invested in this thing so you know whatever so you guys that were out there trying to see how these were 
I apologize, don't get your hopes up. You might be able to buy one and have good luck because I know some companies are like that. I've always had luck with their 1911s, uh, 9, 40, 45, 10 millimeter. I've had all their 1911s and they performed flawless. This is, you know, it's kind of new maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anybody that's ever had one of these. Uh, the reviews, when I searched for them, were none. So I was like, surely I'll review this and be a hero and save somebody some money. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.